Welcome to Dude RV. I appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. That's right, it's Friday. It's time for another edition of Friday's Find. Our theme for this Friday's Find is solar power. And I wanna thank DTAR Z L E D first and foremost. And I'll thank the, the second sponsor. We have two, two video sponsors this week. DTAR Z L E D, they really stepped up. They sent us three products to check out. We will start from the right and go to the left. First thing that we have are, you'll notice there's some little watermarks on that because the sprinklers went off last night when I was testing them. These are solar deck lights. And I thought these would be mighty handy to have in your RV kit because you could put magnets on the back or maybe some velcro and stick them on the lower skirt of your rv or just set them if you've got a a toe stumping obstacle that you don't want to kick you could put them out there by that or if you don't if you don't care for that shape then we have the round solar lights these are a four pack and these actually have on off switches so you can get them charged up and then turn them off and save store them for your next campsite. It's the same principle, you could put magnets or Velcro on there and stick them on the lower skirt of the, of the RV or just put them out where there's obstacles you want to avoid. If you want to set a perimeter for the kiddos, you can put, put some out there. They don't take up quite as much room as the stake lights that I see a lot of RVers, a lot of campers using. Very convenient packaging. I mean, you can fit that a package right there would go into just about any small drawer. Same goes for that. So those are the two portable solar light options from DTAR Z. And they have sent us a bigger one uh, this this might have some some rv functionality i don't know how portable it's going to be but it certainly will come in handy at the rv at any rv base camp solar panel And we have a solar street light. High brightness. I don't know how many lumens we're dealing with. Panels, we got mounting hardware. We got a bracket assembly. So there is some assembly required. I don't see any specification information as to how bright this is. Looks good though. I really I like the look of it. So let me do some some assembly required and get this put up on some place where we can see it in operation. Let me let me do some stuff and we'll, we'll I'll cut back in and we'll talk in more detail about the solar street light from the Tarz LED. So I have our solar powered street light temporarily mounted. This is not its final resting place by any any stretch of the imagination. The hummingbirds wouldn't appreciate that at all. But I wanted to put it together here at kind of easy to reach so that I could point out a few things. There is, there is some assembly required. And here's how it should be. <laughs> the instructions are pretty vague. So you have the standoff bracket that connects here. And that actually gives you the ability to rotate the, the solar panel. And then the standoff bracket gives you three different positions 
depending on where the best optimum sunlight position would be. And for here, it would actually be straight up. But for this demonstration, it's pointing that way. And then you have to snake your cable. There's actually a watertight connector here. There's a nut that's still in there I haven't fished out yet. And then there's two bolts to tighten it to just press it onto there. This does not come on until you plug in the solar panel and then it'll come on. So after dark, after dark, we'll come out here and see how bright it is and if decide whether or not it's a good thing to have. Meanwhile, we're going to move on to our next video sponsor. Let me get some stuff out of the way. And then we're going to go play with another solar thing. So you remember the new air portable refrigerator? That can be powered by a solar panel. You remember the, the amp road portable solar generator? That can be charged up with a solar panel provided you have a solar panel and for the longest time i have not had a solar panel other than what's attached to the device well thanks to rock pal we now have a way to turn the sunshine into elect usable electricity in the form of this very cool Oh man, that thing is, that's heavy. It's very cool, very nice. Look how nice it is. This is, this is a portable solar panel. Press. And press. And press stove. It must be 25 watts per panel because this is rated at 100 watts. Of course, from everything that I've read, you're probably not ever going to see a maximum 100 watt output from your solar panel. Comes with instruction book. Very, very extensive for the product. You can plug it into just about anything. solar to solar and it also comes with USB and USB-C it's a USB 1, USB 2 and this is a type C and then that is just a direct charge if we want to power or charge up the amp road it takes that kind of DC plug right there so we can connect or solar cables and now we are ready to plug into a portable generator but of course we're in the shade so we're not generating too much power so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in the Sun and we'll see how many how much how, how much power we're getting stand by we're now out here getting some direct sun and it is saying that we're currently getting about 30 watts not sure you can see that we're at where our solar output is 30 watts I guess they were right we'll give a shout out to rock pals for helping us turn sunshine into usable electricity and we'll I'll see you tonight and talk about a street light. All right, we are having our party on my patio. It is after dark and the street light has come on. So check that out. 10,000 lumens? I don't know how many lumens it is. It says it's 200 watts. Lights up the yard pretty good.
I mean, it does a great job for what it is. Plenty of light. And as you can see, we've got our, our little solar step lights going out there. Yeah, I like those. I like those a lot. But I like even more <laughs> these, the party lights. We're partying tonight. Those worked out perfect. All right. I'll check back in in the morning when it's light. Well, here we are. The next day, the sun is up. Let's talk about the street light. I like it. I like it a lot. It looks better than the others that I have worked with. It's a, it looks a, a little more like a traditional street light, uh, except for the solar panel up there. It's the, the description says it's 10,000 lumens and 200 watts. I don't know if that 200 watts is the solar panel or the battery, but I, I've never seen a 200 watt solar panel that small. Anyway, I, I don't know. It works. Works great. And I'm really impressed with the little solar area lights. I like those. And I will definitely be including those in the RV set. And this, I've already got a place in mind out at RV Base Camp when we start putting stuff in place out there. So you'll be seeing more of that. Guaranteed it. All of these products can be found on Amazon. And I will include a link in the description below to a shopping list on my Amazon influencer page, as well as in the card above. You won't have to look too far at all if you wanna go check them out. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And remember, hit that bell as well. And if you've already subscribed, thank you so very much. I truly appreciate you. Your help is most appreciated. And for my patrons, thank you. I am most grateful. You rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?